is one of those spells uh, we've talked about before. This would be great if you had it in real life, you know. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I've looked everywhere for my car keys. Uh, They're under the sofa cushions. Oh, finally, I found them. But that's not a situation that comes up in Dungeons & Dragons. And if it is, is that situation worth a second level spell slot on an adventuring day, right? Or will the barbarian just tear the couch apart first? If werewolves are coming and you have to find your car keys, then (laughs) yeah. Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns of Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the spell Locate Object. Found it. It's an object. I did it. Do I win? You, I mean, you have objects around your desk. You well, here's one. could have picked up literally anything. Okay. <laughs> you, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Did it. I win. Yeah. Anything <laughs> except your glasses, which you're looking through. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Start talking. Oh, sure. This is a second level spell for bards, clerics, druids, paladins, rangers, and wizards. Action to cast, range of cell, verosmatic material components requires a forked twig. I've seen that mm-hmm. in like cartoons, you know, somebody looking for water, they got a forked twig. Oh, yeah, the dowsing. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what that means. It's but, a dowsing yeah. device. I don't know. I don't know beyond the term dowsing is a thing uh, that is never used heard for locating. Dowsing. Okay. I think it's like a compass thing. I don't know. Commenters, tell me all about the history of that word and how it was used to find things. Anyway, <laughs> describe or name an object that is familiar to you. You sense the direction to that object's location as long as that object is within a thousand feet of you. If the object is in motion, you know the direction of its movement. The spell can locate specific object. Can locate a specific object known to you as long as you've seen it up close, within 300 feet, at least once. Alternately, it can locate the nearest object of a particular kind, such as a certain kind of apparel, jewelry, furniture, tool, or weapon. So it can locate an object of any thickness of lead, even a thin sheet, blocks a direct path between you and the object. I always wonder, these little riders they put on, or limitations, how many thin sheets of lead have you come across in, in your career of playing Dungeons & Dragons? I think the point of them is that if a DM needs to hide an object, yeah. this is supposed to say, this is how you would do it in the game world, right? right? And I like that that does kind of have an element of mysticism to it, right? Like, magic can't penetrate specific materials, I think is kind of cool. Kind of sure. neat. I've never oh. seen this bug get cast. Not a single time. I haven't either. Is that is that wrong? Should it be cast? No? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. I thought of a couple uses for it. Let me let me run this by you and see if this works. All right. Okay. There, uh, there's a hundred dollar bill, a genuine hundred dollar bill, in a stack of counterfeit bills. Now, if you cast the spell and say, "I'm looking for a hundred dollar bill," will you be able to find? Will it? Will the magic be able to differentiate the genuine one? From the others, which are technically not dollar bill or hundred dollar bills, but worthless pieces of paper. If you were to like very specifically arrange all of those dollar bills around you so that you could definitively point to the direction of the one. Oh yes. no, no, all right. See, but if it's like right, a but... stack, it'll point to the stack and you'll be right. like, No, but I'm saying you know, you, you take each one, turn around. Nope, that's not it. I mean, this lasts ten minutes. So Take the next one. That's not it. Yeah, then this would work for that method. (laughs) Okay. Well, there you go. There's there are conceivably times when you might need to pick out a genuine article of uh from some fakes. So you're you're in the Breaking Bad universe playing Dungeons and Dragons, and you're like, all right, as they are, (laughs) are these bills legit? I that was an example. There are (laughs) other instances of having to pick out. Uh, you know, genuine pro- uh, items like uh ah no, I'm in the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade world. I need to find the correct cup of Christ. <laughs> Are you familiar with the cup of Christ? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, how would you how would you word that one? They are all <laughs> grailed. Ah, uh, 
I think ultimately that's where I come down on this to be like, this is not useful, is you have to be familiar with the object. And like, that means like you had to have well, seen it up close at least once. So you had to have already it. had it in your possession. That's unless you're using the other uh, alternative here. And which, which would is work a generic for the dollar, which would work object, for the, yeah. the hundred dollar bill, but not necessarily for the cup of Christ. Yeah. Uh, Where it'd be like they're all cups. Yeah. I do, I think mode two is very, very bad. I think mode two is you could just yell, does anyone have a cup of coffee? And that's probably a better way to find a cup of coffee than using locate object, right? Like if what you're a great way for... to find a cup of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> honestly i think i'm i'm more interested in the adventure where it is i'm looking for a cup of christ that you all into a tavern and until one guy comes up to you you know and he goes oh you're looking for the and then you go on a weird whimsical adventure where he either mugs you or now you've got this eclectic archaeologist taking on a wild adventure right and, and it ends up being like world's greatest boss <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. but i want to see a modern version of some kind of fantasy tale where that is the case, right? Where it's like it is, uh, it is not Raiders. What is it? Uh, Last Crusade, Last and they Crusade. get to the they get to all the cups, and there's just like world's <laughs> best dad. There's like a big old uh, like ale drinking <laughs> flask, and all those other kinds of like cheesy corny mugs, like a, a martini a glass. Yeah. yeah, martini glass, exactly. Oh well, locate object. What do you well, use this? For, this we're having fun here. Yeah, um, this has been a great video. This is not a good spell, I don't think. I thought I had another idea for it. Um, it has to be within a thousand feet of you too. So, like, if you don't know where it is, and you go, "Where's this thing that I've lost?" I pretty, I gotta hope it's within a couple blocks. I mean, the problem is, like, all right, this would be this is one of those spells uh, we've talked about before. This would be great if you had it in real life. You know, oh my god, mm -hmm. I've looked everywhere for my car keys. Uh, they're under the sofa cushions. Oh, finally, I found them. But. That's not a situation that comes up in Dungeons and Dragons. And if it is, is that situation worth a second level spell slot on an adventuring day, right? Or will the barbarian just tear the couch know, apart first? If werewolves are coming and you have to find your car keys, then <laughs> yeah. We're back in the Breaking Bad universe. <laughs> werewolves? <laughs> yeah, werewolves, but you have to find your car keys? That's D&D &D Breaking Bad, baby. Okay. Um... Actually, I, to detect hundred dollar ah, bill phonies. You, you didn't even know I'm wearing my D and D Breaking Bad T-shirt. I didn't. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, huh? Oh no, wrong side. I am the ranger. I am the one who knocks. Uh huh? Uh yeah, that's cute. Because you get knock an arrow. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right, that's a good pun. Uh, that's for sale somewhere. I'll I'll link it in the description. You pick it up. This was I... not planned. No, it just happened out this way. The commoners, let me know if I'm wrong. This seems awful. Like, I just, I can't think of the last time I've been in a game where I've gone, oh, thank God, I can find an object within a thousand feet of me that I've been close to. That just doesn't happen, right? Um, oh, all right, well, there's, I think we might have touched on this when we we're talking about locate creature, but, uh, what about, uh, for, um, tracking somebody like uh you you, you slip a, a a coin into their pocket and uh yeah Track the thousand the feet for 10 make, minutes right the, the thousand feet doesn't make it uh as useful as it could be but if you're in a crowded city or something then you know you can keep a discreet distance while following them what if you just were invisibly following them yeah that's another option is that better than this um at that job? Well, you know what? No. You know what? Because if you're in a crowded city, people are going to be running into you all the time. That's going to be a hassle. Okay. You're going to get hit is by a car. Find, I mean, find familiar is better than a lot of things. I think I'd rather use find familiar to track it, right? Where, like, I'm following my familiar who's following the thing as, like, a pigeon or whatever. Sure. But I could see there being... Uh, uh, and I, I think I use other spells are better than this as a crush a bit too much. I think there is a, that is a genuine real use case that you could make the spell kind of interestingly function. I do think that there's a good amount of other spells that will help you track a creature better than this will. And this cost is pretty steep. Like, I think I would rather have Disguise Self and track somebody than this. I think I'd rather mundanely just, like, 
follow a person. Like, you can <laughs> shadow people. That's a thing people do in real life, right? Yeah, I mean, but this helps you do so at a greater distance. And then you get to say, Within excuse thousands. me, sir, I think I would like my coin back. And they go, oh, sorry, here's your copper piece? Why'd you slip this in my pocket? So I wouldn't have taken this. <laughs> Ah, I'm uh, pretty low on this. I think you might be able to find cute little things to do with it by marking objects and putting them places and then using that as like a method of following, like a tracking device, kind of. That seems like the best use case for this, but you still have to be on top of it. And I'm not convinced that a mundane method isn't just better. And if I'm ever comparing a spell to a mundane effect, I'm like, does this need to exist at this cost? And I think second level concentration is a pretty big no from me. Oh, um, I think it seems like we've talked about this one before too, but uh, panning for gold. You know, I'll, I'm looking for gold nuggets. That's uh, the alternative use here. We're Show old timey prospectors. The... Yeah. <laughs> Show me where all the gold nuggets are within a thousand feet of me. So show me where the closest gold nugget is within a thousand Good. feet of that, me. That's even better. And Thank then you, you have 10 minutes to find it. <laughs> okay. Before well, I mean, the now, you know the direction. I mean, you keep digging that way until you get there. And um, you get a gold nugget. <laughs> yeah. That's you know, depending on the size. That uh, it could be worth uh, quite a bit. I have a question. If you know the gold nuggets within a thousand feet of you, you have a pretty good idea where to prospect, right? Like, how much more efficient I, is it to go locate object a, gold nugget? A thousand feet. That's a three that's blocks. A huge amount of area for you know digging in the dirt for gold. Okay, that's kind of a fair point. Are you? When's the last time you've done for gold and done this in dragons? Well, <laughs> I done some prospecting I, recently. I only thought about this idea just now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, now I might. I think you're right. I think this is a spell that has a lot of real world applications that we think like, oh, this could be cool finding things in specific environments. In an adventuring world, I don't see that being the case. Hmm. I'm going to give this so one. I actually one. don't think you Ooh. should put this on your character sheet. Ah, okay, you're right, all right. Fine, you're right, it's a two. Because there are cute things you can do with it. It's not uncastable, it does do something. You can use it to track people and track objects and stuff. I just don't think it's very good at doing that job, and there's better ways to do it mundanely. Yeah, I think this is one of the my most confident twos I've ever given. It's uh, Commoners. I'm probably not going to take this, even though I came up with a million brilliant uses just now. There. Yeah, tell us your look at object stories in the comments. Have you used this to great effect? Was it really a banger, or have you been just like, I've put this on my character sheet and actually never cast it. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Locate Object. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.